What's up, guys? I What's going on? With my boy Jesse Lee. Got a new co host today with me, Bryce Ray. Howdy. And my co co host, Coco. The co co host. The fat guy. Oh, the Coco Puff. Fact. The fact guy. F A C K T. C K T. I like that. With a P H? With a P. The fact guy. P H A C K T. Yeah. We need a weird music so- jersey for you. <laughs> <laughs> With a number 69 on it. Yeah. Man, this is going to be a good day. Jesse Lee, so, I'm man. glad you got to come join us today. Bryce. Glad Thank you, you for having me. Jesse Charette, I'm sorry. Jesse Charette. Ta, 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 ta. Charette. Ta, 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 ta. Got so is it? Is that what you're going off of now? Because every time I introduce you or talk about you, I always say Jesse Lee. Yeah. I mean, I, I go by either one, but I guess my real stage name has got to be Jesse Charette. Now, okay. Jesse Lee is just something I did. I was back when I was doing music the first time. I was getting lots of friend requests and stuff, and that shit just got kind of annoying. So I um, so I switched it to Jesse Lee to kind of tone it down. It, it helped a little bit, but people still somehow found me because they. I guess like when uh, the guy I was playing with was Charlie Farley. You know, whenever he would post a video, he tagged me, and then all of a sudden, now I got shit tons of yeah. friend requests again. So it, it really didn't do shit. Keep the crazies away. Lee is my middle name though. It's, it's real name. Jesse Lee Charette. Right. I got to rewire myself because I made yeah. you as Jesse Lee. But. Yeah, I yeah. keep. I know it's a, no. You can call me Jesse Lee. I don't give. I don't give a flying fuck. <laughs> I stick to baby. <laughs> dad. 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 dad, 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 always with the question mark, dad. Oh god, <laughs> always with that question mark. Mm-hmm. Speaking of that, I had this. I was at the Yo's Barbershop the other day, and this little girl just kept looking at me and saying, "Dad." Dad, no. dad, and I'm like, oh my god! I sure I hope was, not. I was there. Yeah. Peyton was there. I was like, what the hell is going on? <laughs> dad, dad, because I went and got us two drinks out of the vending machine. Vending machine. She's like, dad, dad, uh, I ain't your daddy <laughs> buying you this. Oh, well, I mean, you don't let mom like, hear. He said, like "I'm not the pappy." Five or six unconfirmed children. You watch your mouth. <laughs> oh, you watch your whore mouth. <laughs> Excuse me, I did not mean to burp in the microphone. It's fine. That would be the first time all day. That's the that was some sound check we had. <laughs> <laughs> sound check was epic of burps. That's what we ought to do. If I can start recording sound checks, oh, God. and then post it as like extra content later on. Yeah, when we're all too hungover yeah, can... on a Sunday to re-record yeah, a new podcast, I just I just want to put in the B roll. I just want to say for the record right now, it is twelve oh three. And this is the second beer. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, Jesse Lee. Happy Fourth of July weekend, boys. Yes, yeah, sir. America, America, son. I love it, man. If you guys ain't got your uh, we are music hats, they got a great addition right now. Seriously, thanks, bro. Oh man, I Good fucking plug. love this hat. Hey, yeah, it, it fit perfectly, didn't Good it? Plug. Yeah. No, I like man. I, I remember um, that fucking the first time that you had brought the the hats out for me. Oh, I'm professional. Excuse me, I am so sorry. So I remember the first time uh, that the hats came out, we were in Iowa. Remember you oh, yeah. got and you guys had only like twenty something hats left, and remember we plugged them up there. Yeah, and they sold out. Three in, minutes. Yeah. Three minutes, they were just gone. I still have my hat. I, uh, the hat. Yeah, me Can't and help. you were the only two who actually made it back with our hats. No, I think Bryce did. I did. I kept oh, mine in my man. book bag so nobody'd steal it. Yeah, all three of us made it back with our hats, but like even. Todd and I, I sold mine off my head. Yeah, Bro, you, sold them off what, my head. you remember we were gonna sell that one, and then that, yeah. then that. Oh, we can talk about this. <laughs> oh man, that damn lady pissed me off so bad that night. Like I had to grab Jesse to get him away from her. It was oh, a. Uh, it was the bigger woman. I did not hear that. Says, oh, dude, I know exactly. Who you're Listen, talking this about. this woman had. Kept me outside for like fifteen minutes. I, I don't mind, you know. I was like, I, I really, I thought she was sweet as fuck. I, you know, we were, we had good conversation, and everything. She was just, you know, typical fan, like wants to talk and stuff. And then the next thing I know, we're, I, I'm sitting there watching. Uh, uh, I think it was Bryce. Bryce was up there on stage, and this lady, like, I had the hat backwards. She comes and yanks the fucking hat off my head, and like puts it on her head. I turn around, I snatch that motherfucker right back <laughs> off, and I said, and she turned around. And looked at me and she said, "You asshole!" Oh, it was and, bad. And then she went back. I think she went back to Todd and said, "He'll never make it in country never, music because oh he's an asshole." God. 
Okay. I was like, okay. <laughs> Sweetheart, go drink your twisted tea over there. <laughs> and be, be nice. <laughs> but, man, Lock 12 was a good one, time. Dude. Dude, Lock 12 was now, no, Lock 12 was probably one of the best shows I've ever played. I'm telling you, man, the last like the last six months of my life have, has been some of the best shit that I've ever done. Dude, I wish. Uh, I think, and we want to do this next year. I was talking to Dayton about it. Have a decibel reader for when we're not playing. Yeah. That place was loud, dude. Yeah. Oh, my God. It was loud in there. Mm -hmm. I mean, I had to stay outside just to save my voice and, and not try to yell yeah. over. And then Papa Ron had it cranked all the way up. Oh, yeah. And then the music starts. We did starts not need the mains on at all. <laughs> no, no. No, we did not need the mains on for that. I mean, <laughs> it's, it's like 200 square feet. I mean, there was like four people for every square foot. It was packed. We had but... enough sound in there to play like a 400 acre venue. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> this little ass bar. Dude, this old, dude, that place is really cool. If, um, if y'all ever get to go, uh, whoever's listening, yeah, if y'all ever get to go to Lock Twelve in Iowa in Bellevue, Iowa, it's a it's an old bank, and they it, that's where Bryce is from. Mm -hmm. That's your hometown. Yeah, that whole home building too. Really, I was living there before I came down here. Dude, that's that's so. It's like the historical aspect of it, man. It just I love that kind of shit. You just feel the history when you walk into a Absolutely. place like that. All those buildings on Main Street are like eighteen. 57 or some and there's tunnels actually that run the, the basements of them all connects them all it was a horse trade or something back in the day right yeah illegal horse trade. What, what's his name um the guy we stayed with i can't remember his name tyler Ty yes tyler yep uh, tyler took me down there he was showing me around and showing me some of the renovations and stuff and said and like he said that wall over there like that the big door he said uh he told me it was like part of the underground railroad and shit man yeah. it's fucking cool yeah, like man. and um and he he showed me there's like a big safe door in the basement, and the safe has got like an internal lock, because when the cowboys and the Indians would come by they, and they'd want to rob the bank, they take all the money downstairs, run in the safe, and they lock the safe from the inside so they couldn't get them. That's that some, I didn't know. That's some crazy. That's what he told me. Did you try to that's, open that vault door too? Hell no, it's heavy I, man. No, I wasn't about to step in there. Yeah, it's heavy. Mm -mm. I'm sure, it's one of them old concrete ones, dude. Just oh yeah, it's still the brick. How do they move that shit? No idea. How did they do that? I, and get I mean, it down those stairs, too. I mean, back in the day. Look at all the people in Iowa. They're huge. Every one of them is like, six, seven. And that just so makes they're me. They're throwing hay bales all day and drinking bush light. <laughs> six fucking cornbread fed motherfuckers go out there hey. and they like, hey, we're going to move the bank door today. We're good at wrestling, though. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Well, I believe it's pronounced wrestling in Iowa. Wrestling. I love that. Pretty sure it's. Pronounce that here too. Did I tell you another historical place you would really love is uh Savannah, Georgia. Savannah, Georgia? Yeah. Dude, it's like uh I don't know if you're ever familiar, like ghost adventures and stuff, but they did this um the guy Zach and his crew, they went out and did this place called the Moon River Brewery down there and it's like a it's a place where they saw ghosts and stuff, had it on camera. And you can go in there, you can fucking buy beer, buy a burger. It's like it's it's really cool. Damn man. Really fucking cool place. I, if we all get to get the chance to go down there and play shows we should how far away are we from savannah savannah uh i know from atlanta we're about five and a half to six hours i'd probably say about eight hours from savannah it's, yeah, about, it's down there That's on the coast fine. man it's, it's, it's right crazy. there next savannah is like right next to tabby right um Tybee island yeah i think it's all kind of it's they're all, all in the general yeah. area let's go man Tybee fun island. Trip. gorgeous too so yeah i love it you know it? one historical place that i don't really like that much what's that war trace <laughs> <laughs> I love War Trace, man. Not too close to home. Uh, it's, it's, it's something. I love War Trace. I tell you what, I really do love it down here. Yeah. Yeah, moving from Georgia to Tennessee is uh, is like a huge culture shock. Like, I to me, Georgia and Atlanta was getting super overcrowded, and then when I moved up here, it was like just peace. It and it felt like home. Like when you got here. And it, I haven't, I haven't felt like I was at home in Georgia for a long time. And so when I moved here, it was crazy. Mm. It just felt nice. Well, I'm glad you're here. I'm glad I came, man. I, I never would have met you guys had I not come up here. That's true. I was coming back from a gig in Kentucky. I think the day I met you, Jesse. I'm sorry. Oh no, it was a great time, man. It was this little honky tonk. You smoke cigarettes inside of it. There's a strip pole in the middle of the, of the stage. Oh, that's that's uh, where what the at? hell was that called? Sounds like sugar Sugar Grove, Sugar Grove Tavern. I'm pretty sure where it's like it? right on the Kentucky Tennessee line. 
I gotta get you up there sometime, dude. That'd be the so guy much puts fun. you up in his man cave outside the bar. It's fucking great, dude. You know my, the, you know my girlfriend's time. living up there in Kentucky. Really? Yeah, Hopkinsville. All right, well, she uh, she just bought a house in Cadiz, which is like if you go up twenty four, Cadiz is like a little town, um, just right off twenty four. Dang. Yeah, it's, I actually delivered I think a chicken coop in that little town years yeah. ago. Really? Yeah. Man, we there's so many places to go play music up there. Like uh, Clarksville, there's a couple of bars up in Clarksville. Um, uh, Cadiz, there's I think there's a couple of bars around there. I mean, there's all kinds of places that we need to get up in around Kentucky. Yeah, it's a it's a sleeper state for sure. Absolutely, and they love live music. Yeah, we that gig I was coming back from uh, before come back and meeting you. There was a dude that brought a fucking there was an owl that got hit on the highway, so we brought it into the bar, but it was nurturing it. Bring it back to life. They hit an owl <laughs> on the highway. Owl on the highway, baby. His first decision was bring it in the bar <laughs> during a pool <laughs> tournament. I guarantee you, uh, I wouldn't have been in that bar. Draw Give it an attention. owl CPR on the fucking Bro. pool table. <laughs> yeah, give a shot away. I would have walked out of that bar at that moment. <laughs> I went back uh, up to the stage and kept my head I don't down. know. We don't do birds. I think I would have held his head. I wouldn't have. I, I would have. We would have left. I would have left and never come back. You would have left with a pet. I don't do uh, that. Nope. Uh-uh. <laughs> I'd have been the one giving the owl breaths. I could see it. All right, man. So what have you been up to? Man, uh, here lately it's been crazy, crazy busy. Playing shows, working all the time. It's just nonstop. Hanging out with my girl on the weekends. Um, writing music. There's a lot going on. Trying to get yeah. to the studio. Yeah. Studios where you need to be, bro. I don't, know. I don't have anything posted yet. I don't I have no original music out for grabs yet. Sounds like somebody Join the else club. <laughs> you got some stuff out on YouTube, though. I do. I do have a lot of stuff out on YouTube. Um, if you guys want to, you can find me at Jesse Shred Music on uh, on YouTube. I also get, you can find me on Facebook too. I'm not as active on there. Um, I'm not as active on my socials at all. I mean. You're better off just getting my phone number if you want to get a hold of me. But <laughs> <laughs> send you some song ideas. And yeah. it's the complete opposite for Bryce. Um, yeah, I kind of just picked one social media platform and ran with it. <laughs> Facebook. No, Definitely not Instagram. A cell phone. Instagram. Yeah, Instagram. What do you add on followers there? Um, somewhere around sixteen hundred, I want to say. Sixteen. Which isn't yeah. crazy, but no. shit, it's I, better I, than nothing. You know, I had an Instagram that had like I think it was at like twelve hundred. I de- fucking deleted it. Seriously? I, yeah, I had like a whole social media breakdown like i just I deleted everything dude it's amazing how like one big post will just bump those followers right back up. it's crazy dude yeah. it's yeah, crazy it's it's wild um yeah i started up like a tiktok too do you have you started That's, up one i haven't i i have it but i don't uh i'm not active or anything i don't post be active Man. post that is the way to go yeah, yeah it's, dude, it's it's so crazy because you like the algorithm is so random and anybody can get famous off of it oh, one 100%. one video and like i mean what is it like um bread bone yeah, Brett yeah. Bones like, killing fucking, it. On. He's doing great. Yeah, he's Him, killing it. Um, he posts every day, man. That's that's the key to it. I mean, so, if not every day, it's at least three times a week. Is yeah. What he's told me, right? Yeah, but I mean, if if you really want to make it on TikTok, you're gonna have to post a lot. That, yeah, that's a big problem. But it's a lot posts, of work, man. It's amazing how good kids are getting at that. Yeah, yeah. But like, I mean, little video editors, honestly, making I don't know. It's all it's, the transitions and shit and all I mean, the crazy editing stuff that people are doing. I don't know the half of it. It's so crazy because you don't really it, like back in the day they didn't have this shit. No, oh no. We didn't have, you we had, had to Windows be, Movie Maker. You had to be <laughs> top of the fucking notch or you had to have a lot of money. That yeah. was it. I mean, yeah, there I mean, was no there was no making it by chance back in the day. And yeah. we, like that's we are so lucky and so fortunate. To be to have honest stuff with you, like it that. still takes a lot of money. I it mean, does. It still takes a lot of money to get there, but if you have somebody that's willing to back you or if you have the money to do it, I man, just want to get TikTok famous. It just takes dedication. Dedication, if yeah. You, if you post it's work. four times a day and similar content every single time, there's a good chance. That I, there's a crazy algorithm. And that's what kills me, man, is that the algorithm of TikTok is just wide. you got to get after it. Oh yeah, if you, if you stop posting for any amount of time, like Brett had that problem where he was posting every single day and making sure he was uploading all the time, and then he just stopped. Uh, when he stopped for about a week, or like before he stopped, when he posted a video within like ten minutes, it just have a thousand views. Yeah. Now he posts a video within ten minutes, it gets like seven. So, so it's one of those. You know, easy to rise, easy to fall. Oh, yeah, 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 definitely. You, you have like, to post consistently. 
if you don't, then you will just fall off. And I, I feel like people do good at the TikTok, and then they just get burnt out. You know what I mean? Because yeah, dude, when you're lot. posting that dude. frequently, it's got it's got to be tiring. It's oh, got to be absolutely to be. exhausting. I mean, because and and the emotional part of it too is like um, because when you do get that viral video or you get.